Okay. <clears throat> Can everybody hear me? Yeah, good. Uh, we'll get started in two or three minutes. So go ahead and um, if you've got some blocks and a blanket, you may want that, put it by your stuff and um, I'll see you on your mat. We're going to be starting in a seated position. Right. Okay, everyone, thanks for being here. This class is a um, Energetically speaking, it's a very grounding flow. It's inspired by the season, the fall season, and um, snakes, shedding skins, the Scorpio energy of letting go. And I know for me and my personal experience, um, letting go, just those words can cause a lot of anxiety in me and a lot of um, like, ooh, like, what does that even mean? I get, you know, you can have you know, a bad day or um, yeah, something bad can happen to you, whether it just be someone cutting you off in traffic or something traumatic. And those words, let it go, you're just, just relax, you know, let it be. But that's so hard to do, right? And I've learned over the years that one thing that is, um, I want to say, I want to say easier, but I am more willing to let go when I'm coming from a place of rootedness, when I'm grounded and centered. So that's very much what this practice is going to be like. It's very gentle. Uh, physically, we're going to be doing a lot of back bends, gentle back bends. So front body opening, allowing um, you know, our heart more space and um, just and, and grounding. So um, if you do have like a back injury, just take it easy. Remember that this is, this is all of your practice, so you get to choose, you know, how intense um, you can go. And as always, feel free to take a break, uh, listen to your body. So let's start um, in child's pose. So go ahead and come onto your knees if you're not already. Um, feet are together, big toes touching, sitting on our heels. Take your hands out, nice and long. And then just fold over your thighs, allow your belly to rest on your thighs. Forehead is going to come to the earth. I'm going to keep my head up so I can make sure you hear me. Take a big breath in child's pose. As you inhale, start to notice how your back expands. So send your breath to your back. Exhale, pull your belly to your spine. Inhale, breathe it all in. Exhale, let it go. Start to tune your energy inward. In your body now, it's time to practice. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands over towards your left. Fold over that way. Think about getting your right fingertips and your right toe, like pulling them in opposite directions, getting a nice stretch on your right side body. Breathe into that space. Next inhale, start to walk your hands from center again. Take an inhale. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, walk over towards your right. This time your left hand is reaching away from your left foot, creating length in that left side body. Notice if you feel any different on this side. Next inhale, walk towards center again. Bring your forehead to the earth, child's pose, balasana. Next 
and just come back up, sitting on your um, shins. And go ahead and tuck your toes if you want to get a toe stretch here. And start to roll your wrists in one way. Go the opposite way. We're going to be on our wrists for a little, well, quite a bit today. So get some movement in here. Extend your fingers out. You're giving me a high five. And close your fist. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Go back and forth like that a couple times. Waking up our fingers and our forearms. Try to go a little faster. Faster. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Couple more rolls here. And come on to all fours. Um, and we will be here for a minute. So if you do, if you have a blanket, get sensitive knees, feel free to stick a blanket underneath you. It also helps with your wrists if they're sensitive as well. So we're gonna stack our hips above our knees and our shoulders above our wrists. Go ahead and turn your hands up slightly so that your Middle finger is facing the corner edges of the mat. And start to grip the ground with your fingertips. So much today start to turn white. Pull your belly in. Make sure your the crown of your head is reaching nice and long here. So we're in a neutral spine. Now take your feet and just tap, 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 tap them on the earth. Waking them up and getting them connected here. Now seal them to the ground. Do a little press, almost like you're trying to press yourself through the floor. So just feel nice and grounded here, really connected to the ground beneath us. Beautiful. Now take an inhale and start to pull your heart through your arms. As you do, your tailbone's going to lift, belly's going to drop. Broaden out the collarbones, bring the shoulders back. Crown of the head is nice and long. And now exhale, push the ground away as you tuck your chin, pop up through the back of the heart, creating space, pulling the belly button to the spine. And now inhale, we're gonna go back through, pulling the chest through, the arms and the heart bloom open here. Exhale, tucking around the spine, push the ground away. Again. Inhale, pour the heart through. Exhale, tuck our ground. So we're linking the movements with the breath here. Go like um, back and forth like that a few more rounds. Pulling at your own pace. On a neutral spine. And now start to shift your weight into your right hand. And at, pretend like you're or go up into your cat pose. We're going to tuck and round, or yeah, tuck and round the spine. Shift your weight into your right hand and start to send your rib cage over to the right. Now we're going to go into our um, cat, cow pose. And as we do, we're going to drop the belly down. So exhale. Pulling it over and shifting the torso over to the left. So our weight goes in our left side. Okay. So we're basically going to be doing what a lot of people call pulls. So tug it around the spine, push it over to the right. Exhale, drop the belly, send it over to the left. You got it? Okay. Yep. Tuck in round over to the right. Exhale, over to the left. Nice. Keep going like this. Someone described this to me uh, to me as once a pretend like your belly button is drawing a big circle, like right here. So the belly button is doing a big circle. We can think about it, moving it that way. Really just playing around with the spine here. Now start to go the opposite way. So shift the weight weight into your left hand, send the ribcage over, exhale, drop the belly, start to move it over to the right. As you tuck in around, up, 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 moving it back over to the left. Inhale, up. 
Beautiful. Let's play around with that a few more times. And if that doesn't feel good, then you can simply go back to your cat cows. Or you can start to play around with some different movements, maybe looking over your left shoulder as you send your hips over to the left side, peaching back, looking back at your bum, and over to the right and left. Just start to feel in your body here as we're connected to the earth. All right, when you feel like you've had enough, go ahead and meet me back in the neutral spine, gripping the ground with the earth, sealing the tops of the feet to the floor. Then you can push your hips back uh, towards your heels, falling back into child's pose. Reconnect with your breath. Take an inhale, come to all fours. Exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, come to a seated position. Reach, palms touch, exhale, bring them back to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold to child's pose. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, back to child's pose, and the hips back. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands back to center. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, the child's pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Touch. Exhale. Back to heart center. Do that two more times at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale. Trust that you've got the movements. You know what to do. Your body knows what to do. It's okay if you go one more like I did. <laughs> when you're done, leave me back uh, in a neutral presentation position on all fours. I'm sorry, actually, we're gonna meet back in child's pose. So go ahead and send your hips back, bring your knees together, bring your feet together. Forehead comes to the earth, hands out nice and long. Now take an inhale. Lift your forehead off of the ground. Exhale, lift your hands off the ground. And sit up. Okay, what happened? More than likely, you fell on your face. Your forehead just fell onto the ground as you lifted your hands, or if you, as if you tried to lift your hands off the ground. This is what it feels like to me uh, when I try to let go and I'm not grounded. Like, Either I do fall on my face, or I, I believe I'm going to fall on my face. So let's try that again, but this time let's get really engaged, really grounded, before trying to lift our hands off of the ground in what feels like impossible. Okay, so sit on your heels. I want you to think about gluing your sit bones to your heels. Now squeeze your inner thighs together so much where they maybe start to shake. Now, Forward fold over your legs, get in your child's pose, your balasana. Fingertips are nice and stretched out. We're squeezing everything together here. Now this time, let's start to, let's come up onto our fingertips, okay? Tint your fingers, tips. Forehead comes off of the earth. Take a big inhale here. And on your exhale, I want you to think about squeezing everything together, grounding down through your shins, through your sit bones, and slowly start to lift your hands off of the ground. Exhale, release. Okay, let's try that again. Tint the fingertips, pull the head off the ground, take an inhale. Exhale, lift the hands off the ground. And release. 
So it's okay if your if your sit bones come off your heels a little bit. What matters is you're really fully engaged. And even if you did start to fall, notice how it does feel a little bit more possible when we are grounded and rooted in and connected to the earth. We can let go. Let's try that one more time. Come into the child's pose. Take an inhale. Pull the forehead off of the earth. One more inhale. Exhale, lift the hands. And release. Beautiful. Come up to all fours. Move your blanket out of the way if you want. I'm going to tuck the toes and send the hips up back and high for downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come into down dog if this maybe is your first down dog of the day, like me. Feel free to pedal up through the heels, do some wiggles. Release the neck, look back at your thighs. Press the ground away with your hands. Pull the shoulders out of ears. Does it really make sense? <laughs> what I mean is, send the hips nice and high. Heels are drifting towards the floor, reaching. It's okay if they don't get there. Feel free to bend your knees so you can get more length from your fingertips to your tailbone. Take an inhale. Exhale, I want you to come up onto your toes and start to wave your body. So shifting your weight into your hands, as you come into a plank pose. So slowly coming into plank. Feel free to shift your feet if you need to. Land, in a, land into a, a plank pose. <laughs> Pull the belly in, grip the earth with your fingertips, pressing out through the heels, squeezing the legs together here. Drop your knees. Now pull yourself forward ever so slightly, a couple inches. And I want you to start to lower yourself on, well, lower your uh, chest to the ground. So we're going to bring our chest to the earth for just like a little kiss. Okay, so the tailbone is going to stay lifted. Kissing the ground with our chest. Now start to shimmy your legs all the way back. So it's our first little snake move here. Now really <laughs> wiggle around. Start to channel your inner snake, lift your left leg up and pull it back, lift it down, lift your left, right leg up, pull it back, lift it down. And now just your hands where they're in line with your shoulders. Squeeze the elbow tips together. Push down through the pubic bone, seal the tops of the feet to the floor. Take an inhale, lift the head, neck and shoulders off of the ground. As you do, you're going to squeeze your elbow tips together to feel your lower back turn on for baby cobra, Bhujangasana here. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting head, neck, and shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders. Roll shoulders back. Squeeze elbow tips together. Exhale, release. Now this time, we're gonna lift the head, neck, shoulders, and the chest. So we're gonna go into over. <laughs> Bhujangasana. Take an inhale, lift the head, neck, shoulders, and the chest. Squeezing the elbow tips together, pushing down through the pubic bone, the tops of the feet. And now as we exhale, we'll go ahead and exhale release. So come on down. This time, we're gonna go back up the cobra and as we exhale, we're gonna kind of wind ourselves down in this little snake-like fashion. So maybe go ahead and try that on our bellies right now. If you were a snake, <laughs> what would it feel like to move on the earth, right? Winding this back and forth type snaky motion. All right, let's try that. Take an inhale. Head, neck, shoulders, chest lifts, squeeze elbow tips together, press through the pubic bone. Now exhale, wind yourself down, swaying back and forth. Yes. One more time, inhale, lift. 
Exhale, wind on down. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. All right, let's tuck the toes, lift the legs, press back up into downward facing dog. Ooh, that feels good. Bend the knees generously, press the hips way back up, spreading your sitting bones, getting nice and long from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Now start to work your legs towards straight. Yes, breathe here. Beautiful, take an inhale, lift the right leg up back behind you. Exhale, just bring that knee towards your nose to drop your foot in between your hands. And if you don't get there, it's okay, just kind of shimmy that foot up. Um, drop your left knee to the ground, untuck the toes. This is a great time to uh, use your blocks. So go ahead and grab your blocks and bring out your foot. If you have them, you're five. Now think about magnetizing your right heel towards your left knee. Yeah, feel that turn on in there, your inner thighs. Squeeze them together, light up. Again, sealing that foot, um, the back foot to the floor. The same with your right. Squeeze everything together, take an inhale. Exhale, push down, rise up. Pull the belly in off of the thigh. I like to bring my hands toward to my knee here and just give a little push to really encourage that sort of downward motion, but then this also lifting motion. Sink down a little lower. Breathe here. Take an inhale, lift the hands up overhead, gaze can follow, palms touch, exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Connect with your intention. But grounding down, connecting with the earth. One more inhale, arms up. Exhale, send the energy down. Palms come to heart center. Now bring your hands to your blocks here. And take your right hand out in front of you and then circle it up. And we're gonna twist to the right, opening up reaching back toward that foot. Now you can either try to grab onto your foot, so bring your foot towards your hands, or if this is enough for you, this is perfect. This is a beautiful twist. If you wanna grab onto your foot, go ahead and do so now. Just remember, be mindful of your left shoulder. There's a lot of dumping that can happen here. So we wanna push the ground away with our left hand, really come out of that shoulder. So Try to get the ear and the shoulder away. Breathe here. Now with control, we're gonna let go of our foot. If you have, if you're holding onto your foot, try not to slingshot it. Slowly lower it back down. Bring the hands up and over back onto that block. We're gonna push ourselves up and back to downward facing dog. You can use your blocks if you want. Breathe here. We'll do the other side. So take the left foot up back behind you and bring the knee to the nose, foot drops in between the hands. Right knee comes to the ground, untuck the toes if you want. Magnetize that heel and foot together so feel those inner thighs light up, turn on, take an inhale, exhale, rise up. Hands can come to the knee here, or the hips, or the heart. I like pressing myself away from my leg. Really sinking down while lifting. Make sure you're pulling the belly in here. Pelvis isn't doing anything crazy, so encourage the pelvis to kind of be uh, reaching for the ground, but not too much. With that natural S spine. Inhale, lift the hands up overhead. Gaze can follow. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. 
Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, ground down. And bring the hands to the blocks. Uh, you can also have this on low, medium, or high settings. Take your left hand out in front of you like you're going to reach or shake someone's hand. Inhale it up and twisting out to the left, reaching back for that foot. Maybe you grab onto the foot so that feels accessible or good to you. And then we're pushing the ground away from our, on our right hand so we're not dumping into that shoulder. Breathe here. Feel it feels. And slowly with control, let go of that foot. Let's bend slowly. Send the arm back up and around. Meeting your blocks, you can move them out of the way. And uh, come up off of that right foot, make your way back into the top facing dog. Breathe here. All right, lift the, take an inhale, lift your right leg one more time. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose. This time we're gonna drop the, uh, drop your foot in behind your left hand and send your knee behind your right. And then just slowly lower down, wiggling that left foot all the way back so you can come onto the floor. This is another great opportunity for a block, or I like to do a blanket under my right hip here. Yeah, that feels good. So you can just slide a blanket right under there. Tend the fingertips, bloom your heart. I keep saying bloom, but that feels good. Right, shine your heart forward. We're just a teeny little low back bend here. This is pigeon pose or Epipata Rajapapatasana, I think. Uh, the correct pronunciation. Good big inhale. Exhale, fold over that leg. Um, find a block, maybe. And rest your forehead on the block if you don't want to go all the way down to the ground. Breathe here for a minute. One more inhale. Two. Inhale. Move the blocks out of the way. Back up onto your hands. And then shimmy, shimmy that leg back to uh, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, inhale, exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, send the right knee behind the left uh, hand, sorry, and the foot behind the right. And slide on back down for pigeon on this side. Tint the fingertips, inhale, pull the heart through. Crown is nice and long. Feel free to. Use a blanket on that side, or just notice if you may not need a blanket or don't want a blanket on that side. Notice what's different. Big inhale here, and exhale. Fold over that leg. Rest your forehead on the ground or on the block. Breathe deep.
This is a great um, hip opener. A lot of the times hip openers can release emotions, um, grief. Don't be alarmed if you start crying in pigeon pose. Notice all those sticky bits of tension. Try to send your breath to those places. Relax a little bit into them. Take one more big inhale here. Exhale, let it all go. Wrap up onto your hands. We're going to tuck that right foot with the leg. Send the left foot back. And we're going to come onto our bellies here, all the way down to the ground. Maybe feel, do a little snaky wiggle if you must. We're going to come back into our, into our snake body. Okay, so bring your hands uh, by your chest here. Kind of like we did in our cobra pose with our uh, elbow tips squeezing together, pressing into our hands. See, uh, we're going to press into our pubic bone here. Take an inhale, lift the head, neck, um, and shoulders off of the ground. And now we're going to lift the feet off of the ground, just as high as you want. So we're really pressing into our pubic bone here, squeezing the butt, squeezing the leg. Everything is turning on. Now we're going to hover our hands off of the ground here and pretend like you are in a bunch of mud. And we're going to start to press, take our hands and push through the mud all the way back, really reaching through our fingertips, almost as if we're reaching for our feet as we do. Our body's going to lift a little bit more, a little bit more, and release back to the ground. Beautiful. Let's try that again. Bring the hands next to um, the chest here. Pull the shoulder tips in. Inhale, head, neck, shoulders off of the ground. Now pull the feet off the ground. Pull the feet away from the head. Inhale, up. Now hover the hands off the ground. You're in mud. So push them back slowly, slower than, slowly than you want to. Slower than you want to. Here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Pulling our chest and shoulders back almost like we are a lotus. Here we go, our flower blooming through the mud. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, release. Let everything go back to the earth. That's some hard work, full body engagement. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. I think I might raise up that. But this time, instead of being a lotus blooming in the mud, we're gonna be a snake shedding skin. All right, so let's get into position. Hands by your shoulders, take an inhale, feel head, neck, and shoulders off the ground, squeeze the elbow tips together. Feet lifts, reaches back, legs are turned on, hover the hands. Now we're going to push our skin away. We're shedding our skin all the way off. Inhale, rise a little bit more. Exhale, release. Be here for a moment. Just sit with that. With that asana, that blooming through the mud and the shedding of the skin, being on our bellies connected to the earth. This tough stuff. Whew. Take an inhale, push yourself up to a seated position, however you want to get there. Just go gently and mindfully. We're going to bring our feet out in front of us, toes pointed towards the sky, he caps up. So nice and tall. Um, if your legs don't feel like being straight, I don't know why mine resisting that, then you can put a blanket in between or underneath your legs. Just 
Just a little better. Beautiful. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, reaching for your feet, hinging at our hips here. Think about pulling that heart through. Breathe here. So good uh, counter pose to all those, those back bends that we're doing. Get back up, let's do it one more time. Take an inhale, get nice and long. Exhale, forward fold. If you want um, feet a challenge, you can take your block and put it uh, at your feet, press your feet into the block and try to reach for the block, pulling your heart forward. Woo! Relax. Beautiful. Come back up to a uh, seated position. Knees are going to reach for the sky. Feet are going to go onto the earth. Move your blanket out of the way. Grab onto the back of your thighs and just slowly start to rock down <laughs> onto the earth. Uh, if it feels good, do a couple rock and rolls. That kind of actually that sounds really nice. So um, you just grab onto the back of your thighs and just swing yourself up and back, kind of massaging your spine, massaging all those back muscles you worked. Back and forth like that. If you want an ab workout, I suggest just starting to rock and roll in a circle. Really works the abs. <laughs> Go all the way around. It also kind of gets those side muscles. Whenever you've had enough, come all the way onto your backs. I realize this looks really silly. Uh, I'm so burnt out here. Awesome. Come onto your backs. Take your right leg and just cross it over your left. In a little, I like to call it a lady leg type position. Take your arms out nice and wide, palms facing upwards. And then just let your legs drop over to the left as you look over to your right for a little supine twist. And if that feels too crunchy, too uncomfortable, feel free to untuck or uncross the legs and just allow them to fall wherever they want. You can also kind of pick your hips up and back if you need to adjust. Feel free to move on your mat. You are free to move on your mat. Breathe here. Take an inhale, start to come back to center. And take your left leg across over your right. Fly your knees to drop over to the right as you look over to your left. Breathe here. Allow your practice to be digested. Let your body do what it does. Inhale, unwind out of that mindfully and carefully back to center. Bring your knees to your chest and just give it a little squeeze, a little hug. Just say to yourself, I love you. So release, bring your 
legs all the way down to the ground, setting up for Shavasana, corpse pose. Allow the feet to kind of swap open side. This is about taking up space. Take up as much space as you want on your mat. Palms are going to be facing up. If you want to um, grab a blanket, cover yourself, you can eye pillow, whatever you want to make yourself more comfortable, go ahead and do that. And just relax. Relax your whole body. This is the end of our practice. You've done it, <laughs> done the work. Now all you have to do is relax. Your body be heavy. Allow the tension to fade away, to melt into the earth. Relax your eyes and all the muscles in your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your fingertips. Relax your belly. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs, calves, your feet, your toes. Feel your whole body relaxed, soft, still. There's nothing else to do, but be here. If your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to the body. Give yourself permission to just be here, not doing, thinking, worrying. You can allow yourself three minutes presence. You are so supported by the earth. You are so brave for showing up today to feel feelings and brave for being here. Doing a great job.
start to bring some movements back to your hands and feet, give them a little wiggle. Stretch out if you want, or rolling over onto one side, pausing for a moment. Your eyes still closed, still in this meditative state. I want you to listen, feel your body. Listen for any wisdom that is coming through, any messages that are ready to be received. Is there anything that you want to take from this practice into your life? Find an inhale and start to push yourself up ever so slowly and mindfully to a seated position with your eyes still closed. Into an easy seat. I'll second. Hands can be in your lap. Knees are at your heart. back to your attention, whatever that may be for you, or you can think of our collective intention of rooting into the earth, trusting, believing that when we let go, we will be supported, we are supported, we are ready to shed the skin that we no longer need, we're ready to step into new growth and rid ourselves of any parasites or old habits we may have picked up along the way that are no longer serving us. Take a big cleansing inhale through your nose and exhale at a bottom of the mouth. Bow your head, drop your chin to your chest in reverence of this practice and our time together. With your eyes open and you feel ready, come back to this space. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me to practice. I hope it serves you well and you have a beautiful night's rest and wake up feeling so renewed and centered and grounded in your truth. So much love friends. Um, I'll stick around for a little bit if you've got any questions. Uh, otherwise, uh, see you on the internet. Bye. Namaste.